Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video was another video that has been requested by you guys and that is to talk about my experience studying for the DAT test in Canada. So I'm going to start the video off by talking about how I actually prepared for the test and what study materials I used and then I'm going to give you guys some recommendations that some of my classmates who I'm now in dental school with, um, what they recommend and what they found really helped for them. And then I'll just give you guys my overall recommendation. So if you've clicked on this video, I'm sure you know what the DAT test is. It is a test required to get into dental schools in both Canada and the United States and as well as if you're applying internationally to Australia like myself it is required for most of the schools here not all to first start off to tell you guys how I studied I took the Princeton Review DAT study prep course I actually found out about it through my pre-dental society club at Western and so that was sort of one of the reasons why I decided to take it because they were offering a discount to us at the time um, because the course is quite expensive, so I thought I'd try it out. I took the DAT test in November of 2016. So it's been a while since I've taken it, so things may have changed since I wrote the test and there may be new study materials available to you guys now. I'd like to tell you guys some of the pros and cons that I've found with taking a study prep course like the Princeton Review to prepare for the DAT test. So I'll start off with some of the pros. Princeton Review was a very structured course that actually gave me a really good timeline that I could focus my studying on. So it gave me checkpoints where I needed to have a certain amount of study material completed by a certain date, and then we would discuss it in the class and do practice questions and so forth. So that sort of kept me on track, which was really good. Second pro is that it gave me access to tons of practice exams. They had practice exams in the back of their books, and as well as we did practice exams together in the actual classroom. On top of that, after we would do a practice exam, I think before and after, we would go over some tips and tricks to answer some of the questions, especially for the PAT section and for the reading comprehension sections. They required a lot of skill and practice and so we definitely got a lot of tricks and tips for doing those sections, which was really, really helpful. Another pro that I would say to using a study prep course was that there were other people in the class so there were other people studying with you at the same time you could ask other people questions and sort of see how others have been doing and kind of assess how you should be and where you should be at as well what I liked about the Princeton Review study prep course was that it gave you the material and so it gave us our textbooks biology and chemistry and I believe it had another prep book for the PAT section as well and the reading comprehension section. But what I really liked was that you would review the material before you got in the class and then once you got into the class you would reinforce that material and you'd go over all the main concepts together. That's active learning and that's how I learned best so it was really good for me. The last pro was that everything was provided to me when I signed up for the course. Textbooks, practice tests, any study material at all, tips and tricks, so I didn't have to search for this on my own. It was all there, all in one place. And I know it can be so overwhelming when you're trying to find all of this information on your own and you really have no idea where to go. So that was really good. And now just going on to the cons of taking a study prep course such as the Princeton Review. The biggest one being cost. It is quite expensive. It's about $1,000 or a little bit more. Um, like I said, I had a discount from being in my school's pre-dental society. I don't remember the discount being that big, but it was a little bit helpful. So the cost is definitely a reason that most people don't want to do the prep course. And the second con for me was that I limited myself to studying the Princeton Review study material that was given to me. I did not expand on looking into other textbooks or other practice tests or other just information at all. I just kind of used what they gave me and I went with that. So now I'm going to talk to you guys 
guys about some of the recommendations that some of my classmates have given me in terms of the way that they studied and what worked for them. So I'm gonna split this up into sections of the deck. So we have biology, chemistry, the PAT, we also have reading comprehension. However, a lot of people just practice reading comprehension section. There was not one main material that my classmates had that helped them for that section. So starting off with biology. So some recommendations were the Cliffs AP biology book, the Dat Destroyer. So the Dat Destroyer was really good with for giving practice questions and just giving you tons of practice. And lastly, Dat Bootcamp. And then for the chemistry section. So for the chemistry section, a lot of people recommend Chad's videos, Dat Destroyer again for practice questions, and Dat Bootcamp as well. And lastly, for the Pat section, a lot of people recommended Crack the Dat to practice the Pat section. Honestly, the Pat section was the most fun to practice. I enjoyed myself when I was practicing it. If I could go back to my first time when I was studying for the Dat, I think I would still do the course, but I would have attempted to use some other study materials in addition to what the Princeton Review was giving me, especially for the chemistry section, which for me was my weakest section. So I think expanding into other resources and other practice questions, doing more and more practice would have been helpful for me with that section. But how you choose to prepare for the test depends on your style of studying. So if you prefer your own independent studying, then maybe the prep course is not for you. But if you prefer people keeping you on track and having a timeline, having tasks to do when you go home and coming back to the classroom and discussing it with other people, then maybe the prep course is for you. If you require help from other people a lot of the time, then I would recommend the prep course again. But then again, on the other side of that, I don't believe that the prep course is for everyone. A lot of people did amazingly just with other resources. So you just have to find what you think would be best for you. I wish everyone good luck. I know that the DAT is written in February, which is coming up really soon. So good luck to everyone who might be writing. And I'm not even sure if they are offering it right now because of the pandemic. So just good luck to everyone, no matter when you write the DAT. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it helped you at least see what's offered and available to you to help you study for the DAT test, because I know searching for information can be extremely overwhelming. So I hope that this helps you at least know where to go and have an idea of where to start because starting is the hardest part. So thank you guys so much again for watching this video. I hope everyone has an amazing day and I'll see you guys again in another video. Bye.